The purpose of the Makerspace and the Idea Lab is to foster creativity, tinkering, inventing with our students and faculty on campus. So hopefully that when they think about a design or a project in their mind, they can come here in the Makerspace and actually bring it to a tangible object, so actually create it. Well, we have an arts and craft corner where we have construction paper, uh, other arts and craft items like bees and buttons and feathers and pipe cleaners. And then we have a book binding machine so they can make their own little project books. We have Legos and little bits, little circuits to create other projects. And we also, of course, have the 3D printer. I guess the benefit is to really to design something on paper. You have that rough draft, that scratch that scratch sketch up of a design and then you actually bring it into the maker space and find materials where you can actually make it come alive, where you can see it, touch it, feel it, rather than just have this image in your head of something. And that's a benefit because um, you have to, I guess, you have to translate that design into a real world concept. So there's measuring involved, there's what's the best materials, you have to think that, that through involved. And so there's learning on different levels when you're trying to make that design real. It's important for Campbell to have the maker space because learning happens on different levels, you know, not just through lecturing or through studying or through memorization, but through tinkering, actually coming in here and pulling out materials and playing with them or in a 3D design program and making, manipulating shapes to create a file. That's another way of learning. We have our kinesthetic learners or some people say, I learn by seeing it. They have to see it or they have to do it. So a place like this where you can actually come and learn in a different style is very beneficial for students and faculty. See, like my vision is like satellite makerspace. It's like the fine arts will have their own makerspace where it has different materials to support their specific discipline. And then you will go to the med school and they'll have a makerspace Space where it has more high-tech 3D printers that can support maybe designing prosthetics. So it's like each school will adopt the makerspace spirit and have it in customize their makerspace to meet the needs of their discipline.